up here we've got Bobby and Fiona. We're just going to muck them out of the round front this morning because it's looking a bit mucky. Boxing day. What else do people do on Boxing Day than um, muck cows out? So we're going to muck out. That's Fiona because everybody's got a sister called Fiona. Although my sister's not a cow by any means. Um, hey, this is Uncle Bob. And, um, why is he called Uncle Bob? <coughs> exactly. Because Auntie Tess wanted a calf calling Tess, but it was a boy. So this is Uncle Bob with the perm. So we're going to muck him out. Go on then. What we haven't done a video yet is this. We've only had this since, well, this, this winter I suppose. But we'll do a video on it and then you can see how it got here and um, what it is. This has been two months since he's only had two of them in here. But um, they're not so bad. I'm just going to muck out this rubbish down here. Get him cleaned up. Simple job. These two a bit of cake every day. I mean, these are these are going to be for beef. So we'll just um, give them a bit of cake, get some minerals in them, um, just keep them going on. Really, I don't know why Bobby's got horns. What a perm, but he has. So the last video we did, it was um, that roofing one. Um, I kind of wondered about taking this um, channel in a slightly, a slightly different direction uh, involving a bit of building work which is what we do all the time and a bit of farming so if you want to see or if, if can't even speak now if you want to see or if you like that um, roofing video just give us a comment or give us a like and tell us what you want to see you know because I know people you soon get bored of watching mucking out videos and feeding videos in winter so just let me know. Fifty's got some new tyres. We've gone for this time. Um, we've actually took the advice, or not advice, but of um, iPhone Wii Farm. We've gone for some Alliance Agrisar twos. I must admit they're um, quite good. Seem to like a strong wall on them, extra, you know. Yeah, they're a, they're a good tyre. So the last lot did, <coughs> the last lot did two and a half thousand hours on front tyres, which I think for a load of tractors is pretty good, really. But they were still continentals, they were split, they've been patched up god knows how many times, and they were basically knackered. So we'll see how these go. Just give you an update where we're at with them um, calves, this, this year's calves, they're coming up. A mix of like six, seven, eight, and nine months old now. So what I've been doing, I set up with a little pen, you know, a tiny pen, maybe, you know, that big, eight foot by six foot, something like that. Put a feed trough in, and they come and get nooks. And then as they get bigger, and time goes on, I make the pen bigger and bigger. So now we've got a pen this big. Has a pretty big pen, and what I find is. When it comes to weaning, instead of taking the calves off and putting them in a pen on their own and then the cows are bawling, the calves are bawling, if you make a pen like this, so they can come in in the daytime, do come and go as they want, you feed them in here, they tend to spend more time in here, and then when you do wean them, the cows are used to seeing the calves in a pen like this, the calves are used to being in a pen like this, and there's a lot less noise and it's a lot less stressful. As soon as our house is just uh, so you soon get tired of listening to boiling calves and cows. Got a mucked out as usual. Had his only bit of muck spreading on the way to the muck heap. 
make the track grow nicely, won't it? I'm only joking, I'm not. Just clean them out. We'll bring some shavings now, and then we'll bring some more, um, some straw. Get them bedded up, get him back in his pen. You see? We've got a good purr, man. He? He's a good lad, he's a bit, um, he's a bit lively. I don't know why he's got horns, because he's a bull spuss with poles. His mother's a pedigree and she's polled. And yeah, he's got some wet big arms on him. That's one low. They'll kick him about. I think I like about shavings, it stops from slipping. I mean the concrete's dry, it's pretty good at the moment. But um it just it, it's more absorbent obviously than straw and it stops from slipping which is a big deal.